welcome to a very special episode. This time we'll be checking out the Romans and what did the Romans actually do for us? On the right, you can see a league table of popular civilizations in the world and place your bets now as to which one will be the most creative civilization of them all. Let's start with sanitation. Public toilets were first seen in Mesopotamia around 3000 BC, along with steam baths. Public baths were first created in the Indus Valley in Pakistan around 2350 BC. Flushing toilets were popularized again in the Indus Valley peoples of modern day Pakistan around 2000 BC. Pipe plumbing was popularized by the Minoans in ancient Crete, such as the city of Knossos, which used clay pipes to bring fresh water in and take waste water out in a complex system under the city around 1750 BC. Around 1500 BC, many Greeks and Phoenician homes had their own indoor wells, sewage systems, showers, and walk in ceramic spa baths with hot and cold running water. This was, of course, many years before the founding of Rome in 753 BC. Education. The alphabet and writing was invented by the Egyptians as symbols in 3500 BC. The modern alphabet was invented by the Phoenicians around 1050 BC. Mathematics was invented by the Sumerians, which is modern-day Iraq around 3000 BC and developed later by the Babylonians, which is again modern-day Iraq, who also gave us 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour and 360 degrees in a circle. Education was itself popularized in Samaria, Judah and the Mesopotamia area at least 1000 BC. We know the Babylonians had libraries around 650 BC, long before the Romans got started. Public Law and Order The criminal justice codes go back to the Sumerians who invented the Code of Hammurabi around 1750 BC. It was then developed by the ancient Greeks. Democracy was again developed by ancient Greeks in Athens circa 508 BC. Elections came with democracy and again with Greek. Policing was done by guards of the region or the city and guarding camps goes back to prehistoric times. How about wine? Well, grapes are native to Armenia and the oldest wineries in the world were found in Armenia dating back to around 4100 BC. The oldest pottery bottle of wine was found in modern day Georgia, which is around the same area, and dates back to 6,000 years BC. Glassware was developed by the Phoenicians after merchants transporting stone from nearby Syria accidentally discovered glass around 5,000 BC. They developed glass beads of different colours which they would then trade for gold all around the Mediterranean along with pottery. The earliest glass containers date back to 1500 BC and were found in Mesopotamia. The roads. Well, the oldest paved roads have been found in the Indus Valley in modern day Pakistan dating around 4000 BC. The wheel was invented by the Sumerians around 5000 BC. Around 2000 BC, it was the Minoans who built paved roads from Knossos to several ports on the south side of the island. The Romans advanced the roads until the end of the empire, but by AD 800, the first tar paved roads had already been laid in Baghdad thanks to the nearby oil fields. Irrigation. The oldest irrigation systems were found in southern Iran around 7000 BC. The Indus Valley tribes of Monday Pakistan who also developed irrigation around 4500 BC. Fresh water system. Underground water courses date back to 2700 BC and came from Iran. 
Aqueducts were popularized by the Assyrians in modern-day Iraq around 700 BC with the city of Nineveh, which is said to be the inspiration or the actual hanging gardens of Babylon. Medicine was developed by the Sumerians and the Babylonians in Iraq around 2000 BC. They introduced the practice of diagnosis, prognosis, physical examination and remedies along with the first diagnostic handbook. Ayurvedic remedies and medicine and surgery came about in India and also in China and Chinese medicine dates back to around 500 BC. Hippocrates and the Greeks then developed medicine around 400 BC. Public health care. The first known dentistry dates back to around 7000 BC in Pakistan, where Neolithic dentists used flint tip drills and ball strings. Hippocrates, again the Greek, advanced health care around 400 BC. The first hospital was opened in Baghdad around 800 AD. Brought peace. No, they did not bring peace. They actually took over the lands and inhabited them, occupied them, much like the Germans in the Second World War. And under occupation, most lands did not like the Italian Romans coming in with their newfangled languages and customs. They did not bring peace and everywhere they went sprang wars. And actually it was the ancient Phoenicians and the Carthaginians who were the most famous for spreading trade and peace. The colour purple was again pioneered by the Phoenicians. How about entertainment? Well, public arenas used for fighting and racing was actually known as Greek Hippodromes and they were developed by the Greeks. Public theatres were another Greek idea going back to Aristotle. Stadiums were again Greek going back to 776 BC with the first four yearly event known as the Olympic Games competition. Forums also came from Greece and they were known as Greek Agora which were meeting places for trade and also talking places for politics and were initially developed by the Greeks around 800 BC. Rome. Well, Rome was actually founded in 753 BC by the Greeks from the Arcadia region and they named it Rome in Greek meaning strength or vigor. Of course, they couldn't name it in Latin because Latin was invented later and Latin was actually a language developed by Rome and was invented around 680 BC. As you can see, Rome's managed to get one thing invented and yes, Romans did popularize some things, but you have to remember they only popularized them to the elite and the Roman confederates and the Roman allies in the area. If you're not a Roman ally, if you're a native, you didn't get steam baths, you didn't get underfloor heating, you didn't get education, you didn't get much. In fact, you didn't get anything. You were treated as a slave and sometimes you were captured as slaves and sold into slavery. So it's important to realize that the slow moving Roman elite civilization was for elites and it was only later and even much sooner that the Phoenicians developed all of this and maybe in the 20th century that we finally got again walking steam baths with hot and cold running water.